What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to part two with this Garuda Bant deck. Uh, absolutely amazing deck. We, uh, If you did not see the first video, please go check it out. I go over the deck list in a little bit more detail, so you can see it all there. You see the full list of cards. The deck list is below if you're interested in playing it. I do want to mention it is not my original deck list. It is by Covert Go Blue, uh, not mine. So uh, definitely don't want to take credit for it when it's it's not my right to. But uh, this is definitely definitely a sweet deck, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna keep this. We have the Incubation Druid uh, to help us get there a little bit. And we will see what we are up against. Uh, this deck goes very, very ham uh, when you can get this out. Uh, as we saw in the last video, it's very dependent on if your opponent has a counter, uh, as it always is. But um, very, very happy to be running this one. This might be my new favorite uh, standard deck, honestly. Uh, it's just so, so sweet. We do want to keep lands on top here just so we can get to the all-important six mana uh, to get this guy down. So we're going to go for it. Um, <clears throat> good that they have Fable Passage, because that means they're not doing anything this turn. I like that. And they got a forest, huh? All right, let's do this. Get Incubation Druid out. And we will see what we can do next turn. Uh, we do have a Mori, which can uh, cheapen our stuff if we would like to, or Elite Guard Mage. I think I'm going to lean towards the Amori most likely, but we'll see what they've got. Um, oh, okay. Just kidding. We will not be getting there. Um, Garuda, huh? Uh, let's Breeding Pool and pass, unfortunately. So next turn, um, <laughs> we will probably run out the Amori. Uh, that way, this and this is just one mana less. Uh, it also blocks this pretty effectively. Um Growth Spiral is actually not bad. Um, let's go ahead and do this. We'll just get a forest. Not going to matter too much here. Uh, and we will play this out. Creature, please. <clears throat> we do have to be careful. They could have a burn spell to take this out. So if they do swing in with this, we might not block. We'll, we'll see. Um... But we do just kind of have to be a bit careful there. Woo, that's a good one. I am not going to block. Because if we get a land, oh, any other land, uh, we would have been in much better shape. Okay, well, unfortunately... That's just how it works. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that on top. That way, if this dies, uh, we can block with this now. Is essentially what we can do. So, uh, if we grow spiral, yeah, we can grow spiral, put land out, and then we can elite guard mage here and draw another card. Uh, no attacks. So here we do have the blockers that we need to take care of this board if we would like to. They can burn this, I'm sure. <clears throat> I'm almost positive that they'll be able to, to take this out, um, but we will happily block here if they swing in with this. Um, not a problem on our end, now that we've got the six mana. Yep. Sure. Now I'm a little less enticed to, to block. Um, we might still. We'll see. Maze, oh, that's not good for us. Um, let's take out one of these robbers. All right. It's actually quite good now that we get a cheaper version of this. Your graveyard, we got a dream trawler. We're playing the dream trawler. Let's do this. I'm going to do this, bounce this. We are not going to attack. We'll end the turn, bring this back. Don't care about the robber. We'll get spark double. It's going to copy this. 
Questing beast, huh? Do we want questing beast or do we want fossa? I think we want fossa. Yeah, that seems good. Um, <laughs> and there you go. Um, all of a sudden we have a very powerful board. Uh, and this is exactly why I think this card is just way too good. We're dropping frames again, guys. I am so sorry about that. I know we are uh, having some network issues. I'm really, really hoping we can fix that. Um, we're actually in the midst of not a terrible storm, but definitely a storm. So I'm wondering if that might have something to do with it, too. Uh, yeah. Okay, well. Let's spark double. We're gonna copy this. Uh, your graveyard. Let's get another spark double. <laughs> We'll get a Paradise Druid, I guess. Get another Paradise Druid, I guess. All right, let's attack. Um, Dream Trawler, yes, absolutely. Uh, and I'm actually okay if both of these go too, so I'm gonna swing with all of them. I guess I'll just do this now. And here we just get to bounce this again, so like... Again, really do apologize guys, I know we're dropping frames, uh, unfortunately. Very little I can do at the moment. Alright, we won it! There we go, game one, in the bag. Feeling good. Uh, Let's see if that might help a little bit. All right, let's go to game two. Hopefully we're going to stay off those frame drops too as we uh, do this. But I'm loving this deck, guys. Uh, like I said, this thing can go over the top as you just saw very, very quickly. I mean, that was in a matter of a turn, we kind of turned that game around essentially. So that's what we're kind of looking to do every single time. Um, I think we played that out pretty well. Really excited. Definitely my new favorite deck. Uh, like, yeah, I mean, we we keep it, I guess. I don't love this hand. It's a bit slow. Um, no ramp, but we do have the two Charming Princes here, so we can gain a little bit of life or maybe scry two, depending on what the opponent's doing. Looks like they mulled twice, um, which I'm sure feels very terrible for them. I got to be honest, I'm not that upset about it. Uh, I'm going to keep pretty much any land on top. Um, we'll find a time to play it. Cool. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. And we're just going to go ahead and gain three here. Um, if they want to burn this, that's fine. But let's keep our life total healthy. Uh, just so, you know, we're not losing out to, to a very, very fast hand on their side. Sure. Let's do Temple. It's actually quite good against this deck, so I kind of want to keep it. Uh, we'll gain three. Make him burn everything out. Robber, huh? And Scorch Fitter. Okay. Ooh, that feels bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to block that. We'll just get the white here, um, and we'll play the Elite Garbage. Again, just keeping our life total pretty healthy here. I know we're not ramping as much as we could, uh, but I think that's okay. Um, we're roughly stabilized at this point, which feels quite nice. Get both of these guys out, and I am not going to attack here. Um, I'm going to ask them that you know they need to answer this, essentially. Um, Good land on their side. They can pump all their creatures here and do quite a bit of damage, but again, we're at a healthy 24, so I'm not feeling too pressured to block anything, really, at this point. And then obviously this po this following turn, we get to drop this guy, which is just going to be amazing. So let's actually do this, just so we don't have to tap the, down the either one of these guys, really. Um, 
I think we did not hit a thing. Uh, that's unfortunate. So, again, I am not going to attack here. Um, once we have a little bit more on the board, I'm more willing to, but I got to I gotta play it safe, I feel like. Um, you know, if they've got an Ember Cleave, for instance, that's going to be a problem for us. So, uh, thankfully, we do have the other uh, Garuda, if we would like to drop it. Um, uh, no, not very good. Not very good. Um, so here we can just maze in, or in raise forerunners, excuse me, but it's really not going to be doing that much. Uh, it's very strong, but I think we kind of want to hold off on that. I'm going to play this. Um, we're going to keep that one. We still get the trigger. Perfect. Uh, we did get a spark double, which is exactly what we wanted. We get to copy this now. I don't think we got anything in our graveyard, which is kind of sad. Um, all right. Now I'm feeling a little bit better about swinging in. Let's go ahead and deal two here. Not a lot here because we do want to keep ourselves, you know, in a, in a healthy place for a card like this. <laughs> That's exactly why. Um, so now they've obviously got some very, very strong attacks. How much more does this do? Two plus. Okay, so. I'm gonna block there. This is going to block there, I think. Uh, and this is gonna block, nope, wait, sorry. This is gonna block there. There we go. We won it. Awesome. Uh, I think, yeah, they they unfortunately just didn't have great attacks even with that. They were going to deal some damage, don't get me wrong, but um, was not going to be enough. So these, are, these games are going pretty quick. Let's go ahead and do our game three and see how it goes. So far, uh, I think between the first video and this one, we are four and one. So this is our last game. Hopefully we can uh, get there on this one. It looks like we're against a mirror deck, so uh, I'm going to keep this hand. Uh, we are dropping frames again, guys. I am so sorry. Our network is not handling it well. Um, I wonder how this matchup goes, because we're both doing the same thing. <laughs> I mean, we're essentially both going to just be, like, trying to see who gets there first, which I imagine they probably will. Um, looks like they've got a four drop here. Elite Guard Mage. Nope. Charming Prince. Okay. Scrying two. Makes sense. Interesting. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do this. Sure. So next, like this upcoming turn, they can actually go for it. Um, we'll scry two. We're going to put Thassa on the bottom because we kind of just don't want them to have Thassa. Uh, and they're about to go for it. So they can steal from us. We do have to keep that in mind. Uh, so I think that's the better play as much as I would love that Thassa. Um, we just can't let them do it. Yep. They got the forerunners on our side. That's pretty bad for us. What did they get? Oh, they got a forerunners too. Yep. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, no blocks cause it's not going to matter. Okay, uh, let's do this. Oops. Let's shuffle our deck a little bit. Just get a blue source, that's fine. <coughs> okay, well, like I said, we're doing the exact same thing that they are, so... Uh, my graveyard, let's get Thassa.
Another Garuda, huh? My graveyard. Okay. I mean, we got more activations, but they've got a much stronger board here, and we're at a very precarious life total. So, we'll see what we can do. Yep. I wonder if you just, like, mill each other out. If that's, like, a, a reasonable... Like, you just plan to mill the opponent. Hmm. I'm going to block here and save ourselves just a little bit of damage. I know it's not a lot. I, I'm very aware. Um, but I think that's the best course. Okay. Got a spark double on our side. Don't know what they pulled. Bossa. Okay. Yeah. Two more spark doubles. Wow. Well, this chain is going to keep going. <laughs> I kind of want them to keep it going just a little bit longer. If they if we can get them into mill range, then we'll play this. Okay, they got a dream trawler. Sure. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to keep this one. Hmm. Neither one of those is very good. I think we just lost this one, right? Yeah, we, we just lost. Good game on the opponent's side. They just got there a little bit quicker, so... Well done. Uh, that's three games, guys. These went by very, very quickly. Uh, total score four and two, I believe, with this deck. Um, but this one was sweet. Uh, I think the mirror match is an interesting matchup to think about because you're going to get really good hits on either deck, uh, which is really cool. But not only that, you're going to be milling like twice as fast. And so I wonder if there's a world where you literally just try and mill the opponent out. Um, that could very well be an option. Let's open these packs really quick, too. Um, gem razor cool um so guys i hope you enjoyed these videos uh this deck is sweet highly highly recommend checking this one out i love this list as well so uh well done to uh covert blue for for pulling this list out i think it's awesome uh thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it i know uh the support here has been amazing over the last week so thank you guys thank you thank you thank you uh, and again, I do apologize for the frame rate issue. Hopefully we can fix that going forward, but, uh, really do appreciate the support guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you hopefully very soon with another gameplay video.